This is 2019 European Girls Math Olympiad problem number 3 and here is a view of this geometry problem. We are given triangle ABC such that angle A uh, is larger than angle B and we also are given a point D on segment BC on side BC of triangle ABC such that C angle CAD is congruent to angle B. We also know that I is the in center of this triangle ABC. And lastly, we draw a, um, a circle which is tangent to side AC at the point A, which also goes through the in center I. We let this uh, circle also intersect the circumcircle of triangle ABC at the point X, as you can clearly see here in my picture. And finally, we would like to show that the angle bisectors of angle DAB and CXB they intersect on segment BC. I'll go ahead and uh, first draw the angle bisector of CXB because it's relatively easy to draw it. Uh, it's basically, uh, it can be drawn by uh, first marking the midpoint of arc BC. And so probably here, let's label it as M. So I can just connect CXM uh, and clearly that must be the angle bisector here. So these two angles here are congruent and the reason is that because it is an angle bisector it should um, it should hit arc BC at its midpoint M. Uh, I wanted to point that out because instead of showing that these two angle bisectors meet on uh, segment BC I would rather first label um, the intersection of XM, the angle bisector of CXB and segment, uh, the, the intersection with segment BC as say Y and alternatively I would like to show that show equivalently equivalently that uh, angle uh, well AY is an angle bisector AY uh, bisects bisects uh, angle uh, BAD I hope it's clear that these are equivalent uh, statements. Um, the reason I had, uh, I wanted to bring that up uh, is, uh, and focus on the midpoint of arc BC, is the fact that the in center is also involved in the picture. And indeed, it's clear that A, I, M are also collinear, right? So uh, let's write that down as a bullet. A, I, uh, M collinear. Uh, simply because uh, I is the uh, AI is an angle bisector, and as such, it would also hit uh, arc BC at its midpoint M. Okay, so that's that's extremely convenient now, um, knowing that we have these two angle bisectors hitting uh, the points. Uh, the midpoint of arc BC, and indeed all of these angles measure A over 2 basically. So this is A over 2, that's A over 2, this is A over 2, this is A over 2, all these four angles, uh, they measure uh, the same. Um, le let me go ahead and uh, first take care of this tangency condition here. And, um, well, okay, before I take care of the tangency condition, uh, what I have in mind is after you play with this picture a little bit, showing that uh, AY is an angle bisector, it bisects angle BAD, turns out to be equivalent to showing that uh, quadrilateral AIYB is cyclic. So once you make this observation, the whole point of like the, the, the angle chasing that will follow next will be trying to make sense of this, trying to prove that. And then afterwards, it's quite easy to, to, to conclude the proof. So that's um, all my angle chasing will be towards establishing that result, that namely uh, AIYB is a cyclic quadrilateral. But first, in order for me to prove it, I need to uh, chase uh, a few angles. So let's go ahead and... Um, uh, proceed with the angle chasing. So let's, for, for instance, uh, focus on AXI, this angle. Um, I don't know how I should label it, but um, uh, so let's label it with this green color here. So this angle over here, uh, I'll take care of the tangency condition now, just like I mentioned. So angle AXI, angle AXI is clearly congruent to angle, because it subtends minor arc AI, 
on the blue circle it is due to the tangency condition it's just CAI angle CAI and angle CAI by extension is a angle CAM right angle CAM and angle CAM uh, like we said earlier is the same thing as angle CXM as well if we want or so which is which is pretty convenient right so therefore um, so 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 th this one is also a dotted angle basically uh, but if actually the angle which interests me is angle CBM actually so I'll, I'll obviously this angle is also congruent and indeed I can go ahead and extend this so this one is also a dotted angle B is not so all of these dotted angles are measure a over 2 so this is a over 2 maybe I can just let uh, so we can just let uh, let uh, angle a over 2 be equal to say alpha for instance so this is alpha this is alpha 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 <laughs> so all of these angles are basically congruent angles they are all uh, equal to um, a over 2 all right so the second part of uh, the angle chasing I, I would like to focus on angle axm uh, which is uh, clearly congruent to uh, angle ABM. They both subtend the same arc. And let me go ahead and split ABM into two pieces, namely angle ABC plus angle uh, CBM. CBM. And obviously, I like this angle a lot because of the earlier result. Angle CBM is just AXI. That gives me an idea to splitting also angle AXM as well. Let's go ahead and split AXM as AXI. AXI plus that's an I oh gosh uh, AXI plus IXM angle I uh, XM and now it's clear right because uh, CBM is a congr is congruent to AXI we have proven it in the previous bullets so it must be the case so therefore uh, angle ABC or angle B basically is congruent to angle IXM IXM um, maybe we should label them with a different color now, right? So this angle here, remember earlier in the question, we were told that this angle is congruent to this angle. It's given in the problem statement. But now we also know that those two angles are also congruent to this angle here, which is slightly more than A over 2 in this drawing, obviously, because uh, alpha, it's slightly more than alpha. Awesome. Uh, so, so so far so good. Now we can go ahead and um, we, we are just uh, one step away from the desired uh, result. Uh, so I'll go ahead and uh, focus on um, uh, triangle XBM and notice that XBM I claim is uh, similar to triangle BYM simply by um, uh, by what? Um, yeah, well, by, by just angle, 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 chase, uh, angle, 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 similarity, right? So, for instance, I, I think it's clear, right? So, uh, triangle, let's write that down. XBM, XBM is clearly similar to triangle XBM. Uh, BYM, well, obviously, both of them, they share this angle M here. Uh, M. Secondly, they both have an, another angle which is congruent. They are both A over 2. And as such, so these two triangles are uh, similar triangles. But then from here, uh, this would imply that I can use, make use of line segments. Uh, so, uh, for, for instance, M, um, um, how about this? Uh, XM to BM, BM to YM. XM to BM is congruent to uh, BM to y m right so therefore um, so this would further imply that x m times y m is equal to b m squared but wait a second we remember from the in center x center lemma that m is a special point it's on the circumcircle uh, and i m b m and c m are congruent right so this segment is congruent to IM, which is further congruent to this one. Those three segments, they are congruent. Um, this, this is a very well-known result. 
uh, follows from the incenter excenter lemma. So BM square is the same thing that as IM square. But then I can rewrite a new ratio here. So this would further imply that uh, if I organize it as, uh, so for instance, IM to say, um, uh, IM to YM, for example, is equal to XM to IM. Then, okay, so uh, we, we can uh, now label this new uh, segment, uh, maybe gray color here. Let me go ahead and label this thing here. All right, so something like this. Do you guys agree that uh, IM to YM is congruent to XM to I am so and the fact that they both share the angle this angle here and uh, the fact that I am Y I am Y uh, angle I am Y being uh, congruent I am Y being congruent to X am I X am I these two results would imply that uh, indeed triangle uh, well I am Y, obviously, I am Y is similar. I, I am Y, I, um, I X am, I guess. I, uh, I am Y, I am Y, X am I, I should say. X am I, yes, triangle X am I. All right, so uh, I am Y, no. Uh, hold on. I, yeah, that's right. So, and that finally would imply that, uh, so for instance, uh, because those triangles are similar, let me get the red color, that red angle IXM, uh, IXM is congruent to YIM, YIM. So this is also a red angle. Um, which is simply angle B, basically, <laughs> right? Um, the, the, is that clear? I hope it is, right? So that would imply that uh, angle uh, uh, IXM, I, uh, or, or uh, let's start with MIY. Uh, so angle uh, MIY, MIY is congruent to MIY, MXI, MXI. But earlier we established that angle MXI was just angle B, right? So over here. And so that's pretty neat. Um, so what, what is the implication? So that therefore implies that, okay, I, I, I'm running out of space here. So therefore, finally we get the desired cyclic quad. Uh, so obviously this angle MIY, you can look at the, uh, supplementary angle 180 minus this angle and obviously these two angles uh, they are opposite angles uh, and as such uh, we have so therefore we have a i y b uh, a i y b is concyclic points concyclic Whew, so now that I have this result, uh, we can now go ahead and establish the fact, uh, the uh, the claim that uh, angle YAB is an angle bisector. So let's uh, go ahead because I'm running seriously out of space. I'll just take this picture over here. Um, yeah. So and finally, let's uh, go ahead and draw this line. The claim was that this should be an angle bisector. Now we are in a good position to, to finish the proof. Um, let's put some space here. So let's start with angle YAB. I'm starting with this angle over here. So angle YAB is clearly congruent to angle AYC. AYC minus angle B angle a or for instance let's write it as a b y simply it's an external angle this angle is an external angle on triangle a b y so as a result this angle would be just the external angle minus this angle internal angle the difference will give you y a b and um well um i claim that angle a y c is simply equal to 90 degrees uh, minus angle uh, C over 2, and I'll show you just in a minute, minus angle A, B, Y, C is obviously angle B. Now you might say, why is angle A, Y, C um, 
90 degrees minus c over 2. Um, it's clear, for, it follows directly from this uh, cyclic quadrilateral A, I, Y, B. I can just split A, Y, C into two pieces, namely this one. Actually, uh, that would be even simpler. Okay, forget about this angle. Uh, so A, Y, C, check this out. I can split it as A, Y, I, angle uh, A, Y, I, plus angle uh, I, Y, C, I, y c now a y i a y i is the same as a b i because they subtend the same arc a i on this uh, cyclic quadrilateral a i y c so a b i right a y i is just a b i but a b i is just b over 2 angle b over 2 plus angle i y c again angle i y c is just angle a over 2 because again cyclic quadrilateral um, so the, the supplement, this whole thing is 180 minus A over 2. So therefore this one should be A over 2 as well. A over 2 minus angle B. Aha! And this is simply angle A over 2 minus angle B over 2. So we have just found that angle YAB uh, is just uh, angle, or let's just write it as angle A minus angle B all divided but this is exactly what what, what we wanted to show because uh, angle bad is just angle a the whole thing minus the red part here so angle a minus this portion was angle b it's so this whole thing is a minus b as a result we have shown that this one this angle here, angle B, A, Y, is just half of this angle A minus B, and that's it, and boom. So therefore, uh, Y, A bisects uh, angle uh, B, A, D, as was to be shown. Okay, so the reason I uh, kind of uh, prefer to make use of uh, this uh, proof is uh, that because it... Uh, barely uses any advanced strategies. We just mentioned briefly about the in-center x-center lemma, but that was a very well-known result as well. So it is purely uh, angle chasing lengths, using lengths to establish similar triangles, and then uh, establishing some cyclic quadrilaterals. So um, these type of skills are elementary in solving um, Olympiad math problems. Hope you enjoyed it and looking forward to see you guys in our next uh, problem, problem session.